Hey everybody, welcome to another Dark and Light video. Today we're going to be playing with a couple new features in the new update, which isn't like a huge update. And we're going to be playing with a few things that we've neglected thus far in this series. So if we go over here, it says chests, farms, and soul stones. So if we give a quick peek, there is a farm that I've been playing with. Now, the farm is one of those things where I've neglected. I'm pretty sure I haven't touched the farming knowledge tree ever. So we're going to be definitely be playing with that. Another thing we've never actually played with is these uh, soul suppression stones and soul stones and the uh, summoning pool in general. And in the new update came these storage boxes. So how you make these, I think it's in survival, right? Uh, they have like some weird thing. It's, it doesn't even have like a picture. But it's three large boxes, 30 rare stone and twine. So it's basically the large chest. They added another category, an even bigger. So three of these combined, it makes one of these. And this thing is absolutely gigantic. Uh, let's guess, take a look in this one. Okay, so that doesn't really show how big it is. But trust me, you just have to take my word for it. This thing is huge. Definitely a very big upgrade. So with that, I took the liberty of uh, basically getting rid of all the chests in my entire house. And, except this one. And replacing all of them. So now we got kind of... Uh, in a row instead of having those small boxes on the floor I just remade them so of course we have we have the exact same ones uh, but now we just have them bigger and surprisingly they fit in the exact same space so that's really nice and also it's kind of cool how it looks how it's kind of just like a wall but it's actually just a bunch of chests uh, but yeah so new chests equals more storage space what do I even have in here I just have some random stuff all right cool so first I guess we'll take a look at the farming so, farming never really took my interest in this game just because I didn't really know what it was about or how to do it. But off camera, I was like, you know what? I got to figure out what farms are. So, let's start from the basics. These things are crop plots. As you uh, f uh, level up your farming, which is right here, you get larger and larger crop plots. So, small, medium, large. These are all large crop plots. With each of these, they need to be fertilized, cropped, and watered. So, to get water to these, you basically need an irrigation system or to bring water to it. Luckily, my home is right next to the elf town, and next to the elf town is a huge lake with unicorns at the end of it, which is really, really nice. Uh, anyway, uh, so I got the water from there. You need, uh, what is it called? It's like the inclined water uptake, and then horizontal and crossbars. So, you bring it up and sideways wherever you need to. I brought it up all the way up here crossbar it went sideways all the way here crossed bar I probably could just take this on just crossbar over here but I'm too lazy now so we bring it all the way over here and then put one of these little spouts at the end and since the lake is basically an infinite water source it will always have water of course you can bring it here uh, but then the water will dry out so that's basically how the irrigation systems work you kind of just need to bring it near so in in the crop plot you need to put seeds first of all so that is how it is seeded and fertilizer fertilizer is basically like energy you could basically say and you make fertilizer at the compost bin which I've also I made one but I just didn't know what it did so I ignored it but yeah as you level up you get these uh, fertilizers large small medium just like usual and of course you can see the uh, ingredients on screen so magic shards for the bigger one charcoal rotten meat and grass those are like the four main ingredients and depending on what size fertilizer you put in each of these it stays fertilized and making crops for a longer amount of time so i went ahead and made a ton of fertilizer for each of these so these things are going to be running for a while and i'm pretty sure I, do i have some more fertilizer in here probably not but uh, the fertilizer does take quite a long... Okay, so I have some in here. It takes quite a bit to make a very long time, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's basically farming. And then you put in different types of seeds and you get different things. The cool thing is, one of the things that I have trouble getting in this game is uh, the elemental cores. And you can actually get them from these farming. So let's kind of take a look. In this one, I have wheat seeds. And uh, what do you... Would you expect you get wheat? I'm pretty sure this one is, uh, what is this? Shrubs, shrub seedling, and you get cooking herb. Uh, let's see what you get in this one. This one's the same thing, shrub. This one is uh, the terra flower seed, and out of these, you get 
think I'm guessing they're called Terra Flower. And you actually get Earth Elemental Core, which is really, really cool. And there's my defense system going off. In this one, we placed Lotus Seeds, and we get Snow Lotus, and we get Water Elemental Cores. What are these? This one, for Fire Blossom, you get Fire Blossoms, and you get Fire Elemental Cores. Pretty sure this one's Pumpkin Seeds, and look at that, you get Pumpkins, and this is carrot seeds to get carrots so that's what I'm growing right now I'm probably gonna be expanding this to a couple more plots getting more fertilizer try to farm every plant so we can get a lot of cool cores and stuff also another thing to know is when you produce it it actually produces more seeds on its own so you don't have to seed it forever so I think it's basically a never-ending cycle and you just keep seeding itself at least that's what I hope if it's false information uh, put it in the comments tell me so I don't trick everybody uh, but yeah, that is farming, and I don't know why I waited this long into the game to start, uh, but I started now, so we're going to get that done. The last thing, which is what we're going to be playing with, is soul stone, so these things, and we're going to be specifically focusing on the small soul, small soul suppression stone. Ooh, uh, basically, you can trap imps in this thing and tame them at the summoning pool. Also, the Battle Mage Staff. I did manage to craft this because I leveled it up. So let's go ahead and replace our Celestial Staff. Oh, this thing looks kind of cool. Okay, so I don't have a spell, but this is going to be our new thing, which is really, really nice. And we can go ahead and place this one in here. And let's take out uh, some Soul Stones. Hopefully, I don't just lose all of them. Here, I have one that's actually activated. So in here, I have a Fire Imp. Uh, bu 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 and what we'll do, uh, real quickly, we're going to drop this one off at the altar uh, to start kind of getting it up. I also bought a Molten Tiger saddle off the town. So, let's go over to the summoning pool. Now, there's a big glitch in, with the summoning pool where it just disappears. Of course, I know where it's at, uh, but it'll come back once we actually get something back. Uh, so, we have this small suppression stone, which we have with an imp in it, but we will get our own imp, obviously. But if we place it in here, uh, we need the materials, so which is sulfur and shards. Uh, okay, we need more shards. We need a, just a couple more shards. Um, and then basically, it's just kind of like a tame. You just have to wait a while. Let's see. Okay, I think I have enough shards. Let's go back in here, drop these shards off. And I think we can do it now, right? And we press revive. And the moon pool is still missing. Ugh, that's so annoying. Uh, but the moon pool is supposed to be here. And basically, you can see you're reviving 5%. You just have to wait a little bit and it revives. But right before we go and get some more imps just for giggles, I actually already have two. So I probably should have already showed you earlier, but bam, here is the two. So I got a fire imp, which is called a, a balrog, a balrog, whatever. And I did get an ice imp, ice elemental. Uh, so here they are. Now, both of these do have special abilities. You might be wondering, what's so good about them? Well, I I don't know if this is supposed to be. I'm pretty sure I can hop inside this one. Uh, uh, how do I how do I hop in you? Auto ride. I know you could get inside of it. How do you? Did they? I think they might have. I don't know. I could ride this before. Was that maybe a glitch? That might have been a glitch because I know there's. Let's see if they fixed it. No, see, there's no saddle on this, and I can still ride it. So clearly they haven't fixed the glitch yet, but you know what? That's all right. So I got to jump off this guy. Uh, but the two special abilities that these guys have is the Balrog is basically a walking smithy. So you can actually smelt stuff in him, and he doesn't take fuel, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's, I guess, upgrade his weight. Oh, there's a few levels. And his health. And then the Ice Imp is basically a walking fridge. Uh, let's level this up too. So you could put stuff in him and things won't die or uh, melt. So like ice cubes won't melt and uh, food won't go bad, which is really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, now that you've seen my imps, we got to probably go get some more. And I really do want to fix the stupid summoning altar. That's so annoying how you can't see it because it actually looks really, really cool. Like I wonder if there's like a way, can I like, ugh, that's so annoying that it's invisible. But you know what, it's whatever. Now, I wonder how many imps there are in this game. I've gotten a fire imp and an ice imp. I don't know if there's more. I don't think there is. Uh, let's see. Do I have everything on me? 
Uh, do I have arrows? I have arrows. That's enough arrows. I got the small suppression stones. Okay. So you know what? Um, and my armor is fine. We can just head out. Um, let's take carry with us because he has a lot of HP. Now this is the informative part of the video. You guys may be, might be wondering. Now how do you actually get the imp? So basically it's a really simple process. You don't want to kill it. And you don't. Okay I guess you want to keep it alive. You have to get the imp below 10% of its health and then get the soul, uh, I'm just going to call it the soul stone. Get the soul stone in your hand and right click while you're near it and then kind of like a green entrail is going to be following it and then it's yours. So then basically what you want to do is you want to kill it, run back to your house to the summoning pool and put it in the summoning pool and revive it. Now you could just leave it because the second you put that green thing it is tamed but of course how are you going to take a fire imp off this island you're not going to be able to so you're probably going to want to kill it and then just revive it which also i should probably add there is also another stone a soul stone which you could actually take the essence of i don't know if it's dead creatures i haven't played with it but basically you can revive your dead tames which is really really cool and that is really bright on my face Okay, so we're here at the volcano. Let's see if we can grab an imp. Now, the hard thing about getting these imps is just getting them by themselves, basically. Uh, if there's any, like, lava tigers or those fire lords, fire elementals, you can't really do it. And those things are just battling it out. I don't know why they have aggro on each other. There's so many of them. Please be an imp. Oh, it'd be great if there was, like, one single imp on this island. Uh, but it's all right. We'll be able to hopefully separate just one and yeah it's not out of the question to kill lava tigers it's possible it's just kind of really annoying and i don't know if i have that many arrows but let's get over and see even the lava tigers they even attack the fire imps which is kind of annoying but eventually we will find one these things aren't aggro so we don't really have to worry about them see this plane is pretty good for fire imps see but there's lava tigers over there and there's fire elementals what we could do, let's go ahead and leave our birdie right here. Get off. Let's make sure we have the suppression stone on zero there. Let's get our crossbow out. And let's try to attract one from far away, kind of. Try to stay away from the tigers. Let's see. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. So I hit him. The crossbow is a pretty good range. So, see, now there's two of them. So, you know what I'll do? I'll kill the first one. And I don't know its level, but you know what? The level doesn't really... Oh, okay, I thought the tigers were coming from it. I'm like, oh, God. So, let's go ahead and kill the first one. That's level 19. That one's level 63. Okay. So, the first one's dead. Now, we just got to focus on this one. So, like I said, basically, you want to get it to below 10% health and not kill it. And then you can use the suppression stone. Hopefully, the thing doesn't target my birdie. And hopefully the thing doesn't one-shot me, because that would suck. Gotta, of course, watch my back. I wonder if that's low enough. Okay, perfect. That's low enough. I took a risk. So you want to go up to it, and you see that green entrail. Gotta get away from it. And bam, that is mine now. Woo. Okay, so now time to kill it. Bam, dead. Now let's mine it, of course, because they have fire element cores, which we need. And now, in the suppression stone, we have a Balrog, level 63. So, like you saw before, you take this to the summoning pool, get the magic shards and sulfur, and revive it. And it revives slowly. Now, the f ice imp does have different materials. Those take ice cubes. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to travel across the world over to the mountains, and we're going to get one of those. All right, everybody. So, we are over here near the ice dungeon. I think... The ice imps can basically just be found anywhere. Uh, where I caught my first ice imp was up there. That's where I might go now. I don't see very much, very many ice imps near the entrance of the dungeon. And there is a yeti, which is going to be a future tame. I think basically that will be our next tame is the yeti next episode, which is my thought process. And then of course the fire, the imp is fighting the yeti. I think the imp. Or the Yeti is going to win, definitely, looking at their health. You know, what I could... Oh, no, I was going to say. What I could do is kill it and get that imp. 
Uh, but there's bears nearby, and I don't want to risk an encounter with the bears because if they hit you, they stun you, they slow you, and they maul you to death. And I don't want to take a chance at that. There's more yetis and more elementals. All right, guys, test number a thousand and one. This time I'm gonna be smart about it. Let's oh, lag. Let's check out what level he is. Okay, so his level's decent. Let's maybe try to hit him a couple times with... Okay, so what's your... Okay, now let's try to get up. What is he at? Okay, so we're going to definitely need a couple hits then. Okay, let's try to get up. What is he? Okay, he's still a bit high. A couple more hits. Oh, okay, that didn't work out. Okay, um, I don't know. Let him, maybe let's let him regen just a tiny bit. Okay, now, uh, I'm definitely going to have to get this out. Oh, okay, jump off, jump off. Come on. Oh, why isn't it working? Oh, okay, I've done it. Ooh, okay, we did it, we did it. Okay, everybody, so we have managed to get both stones after such a long time. And like I said, basically, before you take these, pop them straight up into the summoning pool, and then you get your little uh, M switch. They're just like any other tame creature. Now, this one's all nice and done on this invisible platform, which I'm really sad you can't see because it actually looks really, really nice, but it's fine. So yeah, after a while, they're yours. You can make them um, uh, follow, follow me. Bam, just like that. And then I don't think, yeah, I was say I could put another one in here, but the problem is I'm missing a bunch of magic shards. Uh, but it's fine. I already showed. Oh, this is what I mean where you can jump in. Yeah, you can jump in, ju in them just like this. I don't know why I couldn't do it to the other one. And then, of course, they have their cool kind of attacks where they, like, smash the ground with their element, which is really, really cool. But, yeah, guys, uh, I don't know if I'm going to show it in the video, but that ice imp took, I think, an hour to get because it kept messing up and it wouldn't work right. So I'm going to end today's episode off here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and a comment as it approaches my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.